Hi, this is Brian Huff with Brian Huff Outdoors. Today we're going to be flipping a few of these docks. Uh, I want to give you a few pointers on flipping docks for largemouth. Um, I have a lot of success with largemouth on docks. Today's going to be a little rough. The wind is really whipping. So we're going to have to fight the wind. Try to show you a few things. You fight the trolling motor. Hopefully I can show you a few things that will help you out here and uh, maybe catch one fish here on these three or four docks I'm going to hit. I'm not going to make a real long video, mainly to show you what I do. When you look at that dock right there, I like to flip around that first metal post back to maybe that next floaty underneath there that keeps the dock up. I like to also fish the front of the dock all around the base of these boats that are up suspended out of the water because there's shade underneath them and the bluegill really swap to there and uh, always seems to be a fish or two around them areas. I'm going to try a few flips here fighting this wind and see if I can uh, maybe get a bite or two. I don't know, it's going to be rough. Like I said, the wind is rough today. I don't feel fish pick it up after a couple hops, and I usually will pull it up again and reflip. Like I said, right around these motors on these boats can be excellent. Fish hide in the shade underneath there. This isn't my favorite stretch of uh, dock to flip, actually. But with the weather coming in, we decided to stay a little closer to the ramp. Well, like I said, we'll see what happens. Um, notice back in here, beside the boat, next to the wheel that they elevate the boat up and down with, the dark shaded area. Those are the kind of areas there that really, really hold the fish. Fighting this wind today, it's tough to get in there. Make a good clean flip. I'm going to try to get one in there real quick. So that's usually that type of area and the end of these dogs is the best area I've found. play it by ear. Some days they're in one location, other days they're in another location on the dock. Like I said, this wind today is really hard. Really hard to fight. And fish at the same time. Everybody says, well, if you had the foot control trolling motor, you'd have better boat control. I don't like the foot control. <laughs> I'm the old-fashioned type of like the uh, rotor type with the uh, handle sticking out. I think I have better control of the boat with that type of uh, motor than the other foot control type. And I just stay with what works for me. bill KVD crankbait, something like that, that I can cover that straight in shot real quick with. Sometimes they're out loose off the docks, they're not right up under them, and that's the best time to throw that spinner bait or crankbait around the dock. 
I'm not sure how this video is going to go. This is our first one shooting really with the cameraman. My wife is helping me out today. Like I said the wind is pushing me all over the lake. <laughs> Could have picked a better day to go out, but any day is a good day to go fishing. Now we're going to move up to the second dock here. Uh, for whatever reason, you're going to find out when you fish a row of docks quite a bit. You're going to find one particular dock or two docks that always seem to hold a fish on them. This one up here, for whatever reason, I've fished it two times this year and had two fish off this dock. There's obviously something that holds them here. I mean, it's slightly different than the other one. It's just lower on the water. It doesn't have the floats on it. But for whatever reason, it's, it's held fish for me this year. This wind, like I said, is just pushing, pushing you down the lake. I was hoping we could get a break from it here when the sun starts to go down and, and later here in the evening, but I, I don't know. If I don't get any fish on video, if I do catch a fish or two with her along here, I'll just flip it on long enough to get a quick shot of a fish or two. Show you guys what I do catch if I catch any. I like, like I said, to flip the six inch purple Senko around the dogs, and I also like the uh, zoom brush hogs in the red shad color. And the uh, four inch zoom finesse worms in the uh, plum color are awesome bait too for around these dogs. Attraction is, but I have caught a fish off of this red dock here or this red boat here every time I fish it. So I'm kind of hoping maybe I get one today. Like I said I have this wind is uh, really pushing me around. I've got to keep the boat position. You don't want to bang off people's dock. You don't want to throw your line. if I brought the camera out tonight and did the camera shy, but that's fishing. Yeah. Like I said I try to fish up under these boats as close as I can without course snagging up on them or banging off up and causing any damage. On a calm day you can get real in here tight and really pick these boats and things apart on these dogs. Now, like in here, if she can get the camera on it, around each one of these posts, the whole fish and the real dark shaded area under the boat is an excellent place for fish to hang. If they do, they back up under there and they wait for bait or something to come by and they dart out and grab it. A lot of times they grab it when you're flipping these docks. 
pick it right back up underneath the dock and go with it. Now here in between the docks, this area is just a big flat, you got some weed bed. Um, never really personally did a lot of good along here, but if you had a stretch like this and you want to fish it, good place for a small top water popper. Maybe a Sammy like I've got on this pole over here. And just cover it quick until you get to your next dock. Uh, we're going to go ahead and shut down the camera here now after I throw on this point for you. And uh, like I said, if we get any fish, I'll have her click her back on long enough to get a picture or two of them. And let you see if we get anything. But uh, thanks for watching us here. Hope I can get a couple fish on camera. And uh, keep watching me here on YouTube. I appreciate everyone.